Carissa Alza, a master's student in conservation biology, spent the summer of 2013 studying bird and beaver populations at a variety of sites near the Adirondack Ecological Center at ESF's Newcomb campus. This is um, a beaver wetland. It's been active every year since 1979, and this is where I do my study, which is looking at birds in beaver ponds and looking at how the diversity is different than the diversity in, say, a riparian area that has never had beavers in it or a forested site. There's been uh, some interesting findings in the literature about whether active sites or inactive sites have more species. Uh, so we're looking to see what happens. When we look at biodiversity, we can think of it at multiple scales. So on the one scale, we're looking at it at this given area of land that is occupied as a wetland and how that compares to a forested patch of a similar size. So that's one comparison that we're doing. But we're also looking at the overall landscape level diversity of looking at, well, what would the landscape be without this beaver pond, which would be our forested sites and our riparian sites? Because in theory, without beaver, the riparian sites would stay the same. So they would just be a forested stream, essentially. So we're looking to see what spe how many species are these beavers adding to this landscape? Generally, when we manage beaver populations, we consider things like human opinions on them. And, you know, there's a beaver who always builds his dam and it washes out my driveway or it washes out the road. Or we think about what it does to the forest and the timber pro uh, potential. Um, and generally, other things are not considered. But there have been studies that look at the diversity of amphibians, that look at the diversity of birds. So we're trying to make a comment and see what, what happens. Are beavers good for birds? Are they bad for birds? Um, to put another perspective in that pool about when we make decisions about beavers. The beavers are uh, changing the vegetation. So we have all of this edgy stuff, which generally is missing from a forested area. And there's lots of birds that like to nest in stuff that kind of looks like this. Um, there's lots of birds that like to perch on dead things, um, which are more prevalent at a beaver pond. So we're saying that we're doing vegetation surveys to say that this is what the beavers have done compared to what a forest or a regular riparian area looks like. And then we're seeing how does that correlate with the birds. Alza kept records of what she heard through birding by ear studies at 12 beaver ponds, 12 riparian sites, and 12 forested sites, each visited three times through the summer. So generally in the beaver influence sites, we've seen a lot more sparrows, so swamp sparrows, song sparrows, white-throated sparrows, uh, common yellow throats. Um, we've seen some waterfowl, so we've seen hooded mergansers, some black ducks, um, and some other birds that prefer being in water versus being in the forest. By having the beavers there, it provides habitat for these other species that otherwise wouldn't be in this forested landscape. Alza's co-advisors are Dr. John Stella of the Department of Forest and Natural Resources Management and Stacy McNulty, a research ecologist at the AEC.